Hi, I'm Gary Byrne, and the first safety thing I want to talk about today is keeping the lead out of your life. And uh, what I mean by that is, is a lot of times when people handle firearms, they don't realize it, but they're in, they're ingesting and inducing lead that comes from the projectiles, the ammunition that we use, and it's, and also there's contaminants in the in the propellants and stuff that you want to keep out of your life. And the the, the first way is is the clothes that you go to the range in or you shoot in. Um, when you get home, shake them off outside. Wash them separately if you can. Also, the, 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 the one way that the people end up getting lead into their body or ingesting lead or these contaminants is because it touches your hands. And then what do we do after we touch our hands while we're talking? We put gum in our mouths. If you smoke, um, that's one of the most common ways to in ingest lead accidentally into your body is you touch a cigarette or a piece of gum and then you put it in your mouth and, um, and you don't want to do that. And the first thing you want to do is when you're done shooting, before you touch anything else, food, get in your car, you want to wash your hands very well. And actually, they're actually, I've been taught a method and I'm going to teach it to you. You wash your hands first, once at least, with cold water. And you wash them very vigorously. And if, there's, if they have dry soap available that's um, uh, granular, that's great. But any bar soap will do. Wash them very aggressively with cold water. And then um, wash your hands again with warm water, very aggressively. And uh, if you have a brush available, get underneath your fingernails. Um, that's really the best way to do it, but certainly always washing your hands and not touching your face while you're shooting, which is, I admit, it's hard to do sometimes. And remember, when you handle these firearms, um, they're covered in lead and contaminants until you clean them off. So if you wash your hands and you come out and pick the pistol back up and um, stick it in your holster or put it in the box, now you've contaminated your hands again. So just think about these things. And, um, and if you are gonna pick up a hobby of firearms, or you already have, you might, the next time you go to have a physical, ask your doctor to check your lead level. So you get a baseline lead level, and you keep an eye on it once a year. And, uh, and, and that'll help you uh, lead a much better life, keep the lead out of your life, and, uh, and enjoy yourself uh, with the, our firearms hobby. It's a lot of fun.